Now, under the system of regulated capitalism in the United States, corporations do what is in the best interest of those corporations as corporations lobby Congress to achieve their goals, which ultimately benefit those corporations to the detriment of the poor and middle class who work for those corporations. Remember, if the system of capitalism has even a small amount of government interference, it is not laissez-faire capitalism because laissez-faire calls for no government interference in laissez-faire capitalism, which is also free market capitalism. Remember, the economic system in the United States of America, when it comes to capitalism, consists of regulated capitalism. And because of the history of corrupt corporations, when it comes to monopolies in the United States, if laissez-faire capitalism did exist in the United States, and there was no government regulation of capitalism, the system of laissez-faire capitalism would destroy itself. And I will now address the unintended consequences if laissez-faire capitalism did exist in the United States. Now, because of the fact that government regulated capitalism exists in the United States, corporations continue to exist with the ability to compete with each other and one corporation is not allowed to monopolize its industry and shut out any competition. Although some major corporations are heading in the monopoly direction as a result of people in power lacking the mindset of President Theodore Roosevelt concerning corporations becoming monopolies and shutting out other businesses that could compete with them. Theodore Roosevelt, who was a Republican way back in the day, with a progressive ideology, which set him apart from other Republicans who supported the fact that corporations were becoming monopolies. The Republican Party of Abraham Lincoln, Frederick Douglass, and later Theodore Roosevelt doesn't exist today. Today's Republican Party has a proven history of trickle down economic policies, which benefit the rich to the detriment of the poor and middle class. Today's Republican Party supports corporations through tax cuts, which benefit the corporations, and the deficit bill is placed on the backs of the poor and middle class. And I'm gonna show you how Theodore Roosevelt dealt with corporations shortly. Now remember, laissez-faire capitalism or free market capitalism consists of competition in a free market and laissez-faire capitalism or free market capitalism, where there can be no government interference, would enable a corporation to monopolize an industry because of the fact there would be no government interference. And as a result, that corporation would become a monopoly and would be utilizing free market capitalism or laissez-faire capitalism to benefit itself. And that corporation would have total and complete control of its industry without any competition. Laissez-faire capitalism or free market capitalism would enable corporations to monopolize their industries and some corporations would go outside of their industries and monopolize other industries. As a result, a small amount of corporations would control the entire market with no worries about competition because those corporate monopolies would employ all of the people control all of the access to goods and services, and shut out all potential competitors. A small number of corporations would have total control of all industries with no worries about competition because of the fact that there would be no government interference. This is how laissez-faire capitalism or free market capitalism would destroy itself if it did exist in the United States. Now I have shown you the unintended consequences of laissez-faire capitalism or free market capitalism in the United States. And according to the definition of laissez-faire, monopolies will undoubtedly exist because under laissez-faire capitalism, there would be nothing the United States government could do to curtail a corporation's ability to become a monopoly. The business sector would consist of monopolies that control industries and have rooted out competition with no worries of government repercussions for doing so. 
This is the reason the United States government has a history of legislation to prevent monopolies. As government regulation is necessary to keep corrupt capitalists and corporations in check. Merriam-Webster's online dictionary defines monopoly as, number one, exclusive ownership through legal privilege, command of supply, or concerted action. Number two, exclusive possession or control. Number three, a commodity controlled by one party. Number four, one that has a monopoly. Regulated capitalism supports competition in the market and supports workers and consumers, which is the reason the regulatory agencies in the United States government are a necessity. This is an important point to remember as the United States consists of regulated capitalism, where the government has the ability to break up corporations that attempt to become a monopoly. As is clearly evident in United States history, as the administration of Republican President Theodore Roosevelt is known for filing antitrust lawsuits to break up monopolies for violations of antitrust legislation. As history shows that North Securities Company owned by J.P. Morgan was broken up and Standard Oil owned by John D. Rockefeller was broken up. And these are just two monopolies out of many that President Theodore Roosevelt went after. As numerous antitrust lawsuits were filed to break up monopolies for violation of antitrust legislation. Corrupt corporations cannot be allowed to exist as government regulation is a necessity. And in free market capitalism or laissez-faire capitalism, President Theodore Roosevelt would not have had the ability to go after monopolies and no legislation would have existed to enable him to do so because government regulation would have been totally out of the picture. In free market capitalism or laissez-faire capitalism, corporations would have the uninhibited ability to become monopolies, shed out competition, and run roughshod over their workers. As a result, they would have the uninhibited ability to control the price market and raise their prices as high as possible and force people to either pay the high prices or go without and there would be nothing that the people could do about it. Corporations would have the uninhibited ability to pay the lowest wages possible to their workers in order to get more profit because there would be no federal government minimum wage or state government minimum wage. And those corporations would have the uninhibited ability to not have any safety standards in their factories those corporations would also have the uninhibited ability to destroy the environment by dumping factory waste anywhere. Because of the fact that through free market capitalism or laissez-faire capitalism, everything would be determined by private or corporate decision and the government could not say or do anything about the private or corporate decisions made. People would have to rely totally on the ethical behavior of capitalists many of whom could not be trusted to do the right thing. And as a result, would do whatever it took to make as much profit as possible and shut out any competition. United States government regulation of capitalism is a necessity. Even though when Republican administrations are in office, one of the main items on their agenda is the rolling back of regulations meant to keep corporations in check and help poor and middle-class Americans who are the majority of the consumers of goods and services, and who are also the workers who provide the labor to produce the goods and provide the services. The poor and middle class support capitalists and their corporations on both sides of the economic equation, as they are the engine of the economy. We'll stop here for today, and we'll pick it up in the next video.